today we are talking about the best faith-based businesses to start online in 2019. And just so you know, this is a working list. This is not like an end-all, be-all list. Like this list gets updated as I learn new stuff and learn new shortcuts. Um, and I'm just going to keep sharing these with you. Like these are one of my favorite live streams to do. Hey. Hey, Miss Katie Sparks. Hey, Grace. Hello, one other. It doesn't say who it is, but hello. Welcome so much. Thank you so much for joining. My name is Steph Rodden. I'm the founder and CEO of God Will Go, creator of the God Will Go School of Business. And what I do is I create resources that empower women of faith to live their greatest purpose for Christ. So if you want to live your purpose, if you're an entrepreneur, if God purposed you to be an entrepreneur, then my 7 p.m. live streams are just for you. These are all about sharing faith-based tips, resources, shortcuts to help you on your purpose journey as an entrepreneur. Now, hey, Orange, I love that. Oh, so good to see you. Hey, Word at the Table, good to see you guys. Thank you so much for joining. Miss Mississippi, you're here too. Thank you so much, guys. That means so much to me. So yesterday, we talked about the best businesses to start online in 2019 as a faith-based entrepreneur. But Instagram did not save the live stream, so it got deleted. So a lot of you guys were DMing me and saying, oh my gosh, you missed it. I'm so sorry about that. I don't know what happened, but Instagram just deleted it. So I was like, no worries. I'm going to come back on. We're going to do it again. So tonight, we are talking about the four best businesses to start online as a faith-based entrepreneur. Now, please note, these are 100% my opinion based off of just my experience on my own entrepreneurship journey, based off of my techn technical skills and things like that, um, So, which is not much. <laughs> I'm not a big HTML or a coder or something like that. So there are other businesses that are great ideas to start too. This is just my perspective, looking at the market, looking at how things are going right now on the online market space. These are the things that I think if I were starting in 2019, these one of these four businesses is what I would want to be doing and one of them I am doing. Hey, lots of love. So good to see you. A word at the table said I love these lives. Thank you so much, sis. I love you girls so much. Hey, Lakita. Hey, Kayla. Good to see you. So business number one, sis. Business number one, hey Jay, good to see you, of the best businesses to start in 2019 as a faith-based entrepreneur is, you guessed it, digital products. <laughs> so here at Godwood Girl, I have digital products. Hey Roxy, good to see you girl. I have digital products. So what that means is if you make a purchase from me, then I give you a digital ebook, a digital online course, a digital master class, a digital workshop, a digital coaching session. Digital just means that there's no printed copy of it, right? And the reason why this is such an exciting business to start in 2019 is because digital products have become an accepted form of information inside of our United States. It's amazing. Because if you remember back in the day, ebooks have been around since the 60s, right? But it wasn't an accepted way of actually having products online. It took a long time for people to be like, oh no, I want the ebook version over the printed version. Hey, the seller wife, good to see you. But now, People kind of expect digital courses. They kind of expect online products. And when you try to say, oh, I'm going to ship you the DVD, they're like, DVD what? <laughs> I encountered that in my own business. Hey, the seller wife. So I have something called the Goal Mastery Bootcamp 2.0, and it literally teaches you how to master your own goals. So I was putting it on DVD because I wanted for when people who ordered it, when they ordered it, I wanted to give them access to the online course and also the physical DVD in the mail, right? And... <laughs> I remember I was doing some market research with my girls, and I was like, okay, it's so awesome that you got to go match your boot camp. Would you be interested in having this on a DVD? Can you believe one of the girls was like, a DVD what? I was like, how old are you? Like, what do you mean you don't have a DVD player in your house? She legit did not have a DVD player in her house. And I was like, okay, so maybe people are totally, totally bought into the idea of having an online course and not a DVD. For those of you guys who are over 30, like me, I'm 32, right? Y'all remember when um, courses courses used to be like books on tape, right? You would get that box of CDs and DVDs in the mail, and you would put them in one at a time, and it would come with this chunky workbook. That's how you would learn new information. Not nowadays. Nowadays, you can do it completely online. And here's what's great. It can be 100% free of charge. If you know the right resources, you know the right tools, you know the right shortcuts, you can literally launch your own digital product line for free, sis. Free EE. -E. Free EE. -E. Free EE. -E. Which means you get to start your own business with no startup costs. And that's what I love. I love seeing women in faith because a lot of questions, a lot of the time, the question that I get from women who got purpose to be an entrepreneur, they say, I don't have the finances to start. And I always say to them, there are so many businesses that you can start online in 2019 that doesn't require any startup money. So that's really just an excuse, right? 
A lack of finances is really just an excuse because there are so many resources that you can use right now for free to start a digital-based business. So that is faith-based business idea number one, a digital product business. If you want to learn how to start your own digital product business using eBooks, using online courses, using master classes, come and join me in the God Will Grow School of Business where I show you how to do this step by step. Hey Eileen, hey Yolanda, hey Shamoma, good to see you sis. So best business idea to start in 2019, number two. Hmm. You guys probably already know. It's a Christian t-shirt business. It's a Christian t-shirt business. It's a Christian t-shirt business. Okay, here's what's so great about having your own Christian t-shirt business, okay? And I get so excited about this. There are 41,000 keyword searches per month on Christian t-shirts. 41,000, sis, per month. People are looking for Christian t-shirts. There is a massive market out here in these streets for Christian t-shirts, right? And the great thing about having Christian t-shirts is you don't even need to sell that many to make a nice side income. Let's say that you have your t-shirts, you price each, each of them for 50 bucks, and you want to make just, let's say, an extra $500 a month, right? That means it, I've just got to sell 10 shirts to make that extra income. 10 shirts! Oh my gosh! And what's so great about having your own Christian t-shirt business is that it requires zero dollars to start. Mm, zero dollars to start. So again, you're using the resources the Lord has given you because it doesn't require startup capital. There's something called print-on-demand t-shirt manufacturers. And what that means is that you upload your own art design to the website, you sell the shirt, the print-on-demand manufacturer prints the shirts, ships the shirts, carries the inventory, everything. All you do, your only job is to design the shirt, sell the shirt. That's it. The print-on-demand company takes care of everything else. You don't even need to have a warehouse for fulfillment. You don't need to have screen printing materials. You don't need to do any of that. Print-on-demand companies like Printful, like Teespring, like T-Launch, like, um, what's that other one? T-Launch, Printify. There are so many of them online that you can use to print your own t-shirt business on demand. It's an incredible, incredible business to get into. And again, if you want to learn how to do this step-by-step, I teach you how to do this in the God Will Grow School of Business. There's a young lady who just joined this at 1 a.m. this morning, actually, Miss Brittany. I love that girl so much. She joined at 1 a.m. and she's like, okay, Christian t-shirt business. I was like, find it right here. (laughs) Get started. Hey, Yolanda. She said, where do you get the shirts though? So the print on demand company actually has the shirts in their inventory. They have everything. You don't have to even touch the shirts, nothing. When you sign up for the print on demand company, you just upload your art to the shirt that you like. They print it. They ship it. They handle orders. They handle all of that. All you got to do, design it and upload it and then sell it. That's it. It's amazing. Hey, Imani, darling, so good to see you. Hey, Yolanda, hey, Tracy. The seller wife said, that's what my husband is doing, Christian t-shirt business, yes. And you know, it's so funny because I had no idea how popular Christian t-shirts would become because when I started selling my own Christian t-shirts, it was back in 2000, I think 2010, 2011, when I launched my first movie. I was selling shirts as a companion, my husband's on here. Thank you so much for Care Fitness. You're such a sweetheart. Thank you so much. I was selling t-shirts as a companion to my film. So back then, it wasn't like so many people were searching for my shirts. No, I was selling it as you bought the movie. Okay, here's an upsell. Now you can get the shirt. Now, people are diligently seeking out Christian t-shirts. Like, that's what I do. I spend so much time online looking for faith-based t-shirts, and if you can't find what I want, I make it, right? (laughs) And that's what you can do for free. It it requires zero dollars of startup costs. It's amazing. Hey, pray for me. Hey, Le Chavez. Eileen, good to see you guys. Thank you so much. (gasps) October girl. Hey, darling. Good to see you. Hey, she is quiet for Care Fitness. You are awesome. Thank you so much for joining. Imani said, what's the name of that company again? So there are a lot of them. Teespring, Tea Launch, <laughs> Printful, Printify, there's this one called Goober something, there's Red Bobble, there's a lot of them. If you Google print on demand t-shirts, you're going to get a ton of options. There's a lot of them. Hey, Imani, uh, she said that's net. Yes. 
Oh, that's neat. That's neat. <laughs> Imani said, yes, they are great, right? Hey, Kristen, good to see you. Yolanda said, Teespring. Yeah, Teespring is one of them. Teespring is one of the most popular ones. A lot of YouTubers use Teespring. So you know when they say, when they're talking about their merch, and they're like, hey, if you want to support the movement, get the, um, get the, get my shirt below or whatever. Usually it's a Teespring shirt because it's zero dollars of inventory. Y Yolanda said, LOL, someone write it. <laughs> hey, Nebula, good to see you, sis. We're talking about best businesses to start online in 2019. So number one was a digital product business. Number two was a t-shirt business. Number three, again, I'm going to just point around this room. Writing your own book, sis. Writing your own book. <laughs> again, writing your own book costs zero dollars in 2019. Why? Because back in the day, if you wanted to be a self-published author, you had to order your own books. You literally had to find a printer. Usually their minimum order was like 5,000 units. So you'd have to order 5,000 copies of your book, keep them in your house, and then be selling that thing as much as you can. And when you make a sale, you ship it to them. Not anymore. Now we have print-on-demand books. How crazy is, like, I can't believe I'm saying this. I've been in this game for such a long time, and the resources that the Lord has available to us in 2019 is incredible. Let me tell you, if finances are what you think is keeping you from stepping into your purpose as an entrepreneur, it's not. Finances is a non-factor, sis. It's literally mindset, because whatever business you want to start, you can find a way to do it in 2019. There's resources everywhere, because now we don't have to order 5,000 units. Literally, it's the same thing as a t-shirt. You write your book, you upload the print files to the print-on-demand website, and then when you sell the book, guess what the website does? They print the book and they ship it directly to your customer. Some of you guys who have ordered from me may notice now that when I, when I ship books to you, they ship directly from the printer. I no longer have to carry all this inventory and then go out to the, to the mailbox, to the post office, and ship them out anymore. Now, these print-on-demand companies are so amazing with great quality that they'll literally print the book one at a time. So when somebody buys from me, I go to the company, I tell them where to send it, I order it over, and it goes straight to you. It's an incredible, incredible business, baby. You only spend money when you make money, huh? <laughs> Praise the Lord Jesus. So having your own book company is an amazing, amazing way to start a business in 2019. Kristen's laughing. Hey, Jay, good to see you. Oh, I am Stacy. Good to see you, sis. Thank you so much. So Stacy went and bought like two books from Godwood Girl. Thank you so much. You're such a sweetheart. Hey, Miko. Hey, Shane K. Good to see you. Hey, Nebula. Good to see you guys. Mine said, wow, that's great. Right? I mean, I always love to say that now is the best time to be a Christian entrepreneur. Now. Right now. Amani said, I've been ordering a hundred at a time. Well, Amani, if you're, if, you, if you're moving product and moving inventory, it's fine, right? It's all good. But you may want to consider print-on-demand books. You may want to consider print-on-demand books. The only thing with print-on-demand is because you're only ordering one at a time, the cost is higher. So you order in 100 units at a time, pro you're probably paying less per book than our day. That's probably what's going on. So it could be a good thing. Just, you know, weigh your options. Hey, Kat, good to see you, my love. Good to see you. So best businesses to start online in 2019 um, as a faith-based entrepreneur, number one was digital products. Number two, Christian t-shirt business. It's always going to be one of my favorite businesses ever. <laughs> number three is actually writing your own book. And finally, the fourth, Best business to start in 2014 or 2019. One of the best, best, best types of business models that I've seen that requires such little overhead is a drop shipping business. Now, what drop shipping means is that you, as the business owner, you market a product on your website. When somebody orders it on your website, you then go straight to the manufacturer's website and you order it from them and then ship it directly to the customer. So once again, you hold no inventory, you do no shipping, you do no manufacturing. What you're doing is listing the product for sale and then fulfilling it through the manufacturer's website. So it's kind of like when you go to CVS to buy eyelashes, right? And you go in there and you're like, oh, these lashes are so cute, I can't wait to put this on, it's gonna be so popping. You know CVS didn't manufacture those lashes. And you're paying six dollars for those lashes, even though CVS paid a dollar to get them into their store. They marked it up. But 
the cost of you paying for CVS providing you those lashes is that $6. So CVS makes a $5 profit, you come out the box $6, the manufacturer made a dollar from CVS. You're doing the exact same thing except in your business, you're the CVS. You are providing amazing products for your audience so that they don't have to go dig for them themselves and you are actually ordering it straight from the manufacturer right to your customer. This is called a drop shipping business and it's one of the most popular business models that has taken off ever since Shopify has become so easy to use. So Shopify is an online website platform where you can actually sell your products. I use Shopify for Godwood Girls website. A lot of you girls ask me what, what my website host is. I use Shopify. I love Shopify. They're incredible, super easy, and when they become so easy to use, a lot of people started a dropshipping business because it's so easy to do. The secret, though, to having a dropshipping business is, is to make sure you stand out from everybody else because everybody has access to the same dropshipping products as you do. And if everybody's selling the same lashes, then listen, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come down to price point. You're selling those lashes for $6, he's selling them for $5.50, I'm going to get it for $5.50. However... If you have a drop shipping business and you provide some sort of bundle, I'm going to give you these eyelashes, right, for $6, and for free, I'm going to include a 30-minute tutorial on how to apply lashes. Sis, nobody can replace you then, because even if he's selling lashes for $5.50, he ain't got no tutorial, and if he does have a tutorial, it's not you on camera. So that's what you want to do for your drop shipping business. You want to make sure it's branded around who God made you to be as an entrepreneur. Now, if you're starting a dropshipping business, there are two websites that I recommend to you. The first one is AliExpress.com. AliExpress.com. AliExpress is if you want to ship one item at a time. So the person orders from you, you go to AliExpress, and you have it shipped directly to the customer. Alibaba is if you want to be like Imani and hold inventory. So when somebody orders from you, you just have it right there and you ship it to them. So Alibaba will allow you to order sometimes 12 units minimum, 100 units minimum, but the cost of these items is sometimes is three cents, four cents. Yeah, <laughs> three, four cents sometimes for these units. So let's say you want to sell Christian jewelry and on AliExpress you find these beautiful cross bracelets, right? So let's say that AliExpress will sell it to you for $2. Now you can list it on your own website for $10, right? So somebody orders it from you for $10. Shopify puts that money into your account. You then take $2 out of that $10, go to AliExpress.com, order that bracelet, and have it shipped directly to the customer. This is dropshipping, baby. This is an incredible, incredible way to start a business in 2019. It's one of my favorite ways to do it, but the favorite of all time is, of course, going to be a Christian t-shirt business. It's just so easy. <laughs> hey, Grateful One, she gave me a tr thumbs up. Thank you so much. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Simply Stacy. TM Springer. Hey, The Glam Bun. Hey, Grateful One, get to see you. Hey, Mocha, get to see you. Kristen said, I was like, bump it. I used to be afraid of saying my niche was Christian woman, but I was like, bump that. Why are you afraid of that? Why? You know what's funny? Um, so I used to say that my niche who I served um, was Christian youth because my first company was uh, teaching t Christian youth how to find their purpose and I did that through films. But as I grew up, my audience grew up. <laughs> now we're all 30. <laughs> so now I just say I serve Christian women. That's totally fine. That's who God served, created you to serve. You know in Corinthians when the Lord talks, well, when Paul talks about how we each have a piece of the body we're meant to serve. So embrace that and love it because the Lord uniquely qualified you to serve this audience, sis. So don't be afraid of that. That's amazing. Hey, Kat, good to see you. So Imani, DM me. Let me know how you feel about ordering the 100 journals. I'm curious to know. Uh, hey, Shane K. Sh Shamika, sorry. Hey, Shamika. <laughs> hey, Jay, thank you so much for joining. Bless your heart, too. Kristen said the enemy was trying to stop me. That is going to happen all the time. And here's a little secret for you, okay? The enemy tried to stop Jesus, too. Mm-hmm. The enemy tried to stop Jesus, too. The enemy, after Jesus had been in the desert fasting for 40 days... The enemy came and tried to tempt him and tried to talk himself out of what he came here to do. And if the enemy did it to Jesus, he's going to do it to us too. But here's something that's amazing. What I've learned to do is embrace the fear and embrace the self-doubt. Because I know if the enemy thinks that this isn't going to work and the enemy thinks that nobody's going to see Christ through this, the enemy's not going to make me doubt myself. The enemy's not going to care. But 
if the enemy knows that what I'm doing is about to shine the light of Christ, that people are about to see how good God is because I said yes to doing this thing, that's when the enemy is going to try everything possible to get you to quit. Self-doubt, fear, anxiety, questioning yourself, second-guessing things, being stuck by distractions. These are all tactics that the enemy uses, sis. The number one tactic is going to be procrastination. The number one tactic that the enemy is going to use to stop you from living your purpose is going to be procrastination. You're going to say, oh yeah, I'm going to work on it tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes, oh, I'm so busy, all this happened, I'll do the next day. All of a sudden, five months pass by, five years pass by, all of a sudden you're 55 years old and you're still not in your God-given purpose and you're trying to figure out what happened. The enemy got you to believe that you would do it tomorrow. That's what the enemy's best at. So today, in this moment, by the grace of Jesus, take action on your God-given purpose. Do what you're afraid of. My friend Jay Ford says, give fear a front row seat to your success. That's what you got to do. I'm afraid all the time <laughs> doing stuff here at God that would grow. Terrified all the time. But what I've learned to accept is that if I'm afraid of it, the enemy is afraid of me doing it. And that means I need to lean into it even more. Lots of love says, said that sounds like a t-shirt. Oh, amen. Which part? <laughs> oh, give fear a front row seat to your success. I will tell Jade that because she actually is a fashion designer. So that's actually a really good idea. Grateful said, wow, quit stepping on my toes, sis. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, girl. I hope the shoes aren't too tight. <laughs> Eve said, amen. Lots of love said, uh, lots of love said, yes. Amen. Praise Jesus. The glam bum said, you're so right. Kristen said, oh my gosh. Kristen said, yes. Roxy said, amen. Jay said, amen. Grateful said, come through word. <laughs> Kristen said, right. Hey, Eve Institute, the Kim Fitness said, starting Bible study. Whoops. Okay, guys. So we're actually, <laughs> my husband and I um, are in Bible study with my brother-in-law, Pastor Joshua Fakir. He's a amazing 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 God has used him to do so many things in my life so we started financial peace university a few years ago and a few years ago a few weeks ago and it's starting right now so I got to jump off <laughs> but thank you girls so so much for joining me on tonight's broadcast if you've been listening to me talk about faith-based businesses but you're not quite sure what being a Christian actually means sis being a Christian is what it says in John 3 16 for God to love the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life and what that means is that being a Christian is believing in Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. That's it. It's not what you've done in the past. It's not what you're going to do in the future. It's believing in Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. So if you want to make that decision, all you got to do is repeat after me and say, Dear Jesus, I believe that you died for my sins. I believe that you rose again. Today, I believe in you as my personal Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Ooh, I love getting those Jesus chills. Woo! If you pray that prayer, welcome to the kingdom, sis. Angels are literally celebrating you right now, dancing. Your name has been written in the book of life. Get in church in your community and start getting to know who God is. Like, Jesus is so good. He loves you so much. Get started getting to know him by reading the book of John. And for my girls on here who are, you already know that you are saved, praise God. You already know that God purposed you to be an entrepreneur, but you're not sure where to start. Get a free copy of my book, The Five P's of Purposepreneurship to Launch an Online Business. You can get it by going to PurposeLegend.com slash business. And this is what it looks like. It's super, super pink. It's super, super pretty. And it explains to you the five fundamentals of starting a faith-based business online. You can get it for free, the digital copy, by going to PurposeLegend.com slash business. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Hey, she queen. Roxy said, bye, sis. Bye, my darling. Thank you so much. Wisdom for weight loss. Thank you so much for joining. The Glam Bum said, thanks for sharing. Kristen said, bye, thanks. Amaya said, you froze for about five minutes. Oh, no, that's terrible. Hopefully that this is still working. Jesus willing. <laughs> God bless you, girls. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you complete and total purpose over your body, mind, and soul in the name of Jesus. And give you peace, mercy, and favor forever and ever. Amen. I love you girls so much. In Jesus' willing, I will see you at God the Wood Girl. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye.